Hi, I'm Lalita from Let's Speak English and in this video I'm going to discuss the most commonly used American slang. Now, American slang can make things so tricky for English learners. This is not something taught in the ESL classes. So here is a rundown on some of the most common American slang. To start with, first word is awesome. So when you use this word, you are expressing that you think that something or someone is wonderful or amazing. Now this word can be used in a variety of situations. For example, what did you think of Interstellar, the movie? It was awesome. I loved it. Meaning they thought the movie was a great one. I'll pick you up at 2 p.m. Okay? Awesome. Meaning you're cool with the idea. My friend Dave is an awesome guy. Meaning Dave is a nice guy. Moving on to the next expression or word cool. Now cool like awesome means great or fantastic. It also shows that you're okay with an idea. Be careful. The normal meaning of cool means when you feel a little cold. So you have to listen to it in the context to understand what's being said. For example, what do you think of my new boyfriend? I liked him. He seemed like a cool guy, meaning a nice guy. The next expression is beat. So it's no, in normal terms, beat would be used as a verb, which means to win. For example, Liverpool beat Manchester United or another meaning is to hit. Now Mark, stop beating your brother. However, in slang or everyday English, it means something completely different. If you hear your friend say I'm beat, it means he or she is very tired or exhausted. For example, do you want to go out tonight? Sorry, I can't. I'm beat and I have to wake up tomorrow early. Moving on to the next expression, to hang out. If someone asks you where you usually hang out, they want to know in which place you prefer to be when you have free, when you have free time. And if your friend asks you if you want to hang out with them, they are asking if you're free and want to spend some time together. And what about if you ask your friend what they are doing and they just answer hanging out? It means that they are free and not doing anything special. For example, we must hang out sometime. Another example, I usually hang out at the diner across the road from school. Well, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel Let's Speak English and do not forget to hit the big fat like button. Moving on, the next expression is to chill out. So what does this mean? Everybody loves to chill out. It simply means to relax. Usually it can be used with or without the word out. And if you're speaking with an American English speaker, they'll definitely understand. So examples. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we are just chilling. Do you want to join us? But if someone tells you that you need to chill out, it's not as positive. It means that they think you are overreacting to a situation or getting stressed about little silly little things. For example, I'm sure I'm going to fail. Oh, you need to chill out and stop thinking too much. That's how this expression can be used. Moving to the next word, amped. If you're amped about something, you're super excited or you can't wait for something to happen. For example, I'm amped to see the live music program or I'm amped I'm so amped for the game tonight. So what does the second example exactly mean? Here, it can also mean that you are really determined and you want something to happen. With this meaning, you can replace amped with pumped. 
In other words, you're full of adrenaline. I'm so amped for the game tonight. Moving to the next expression, to have a blast. The normal definition of the word blast refers to a big explosion. And it's a phrase that could often uh, be seen or heard in the news, for example. For example, two men have been seriously injured and taken to the hospital from a suspected bomb blast. But if you use this amongst your friends, it's a lot more positive and means that something is great or you had an amazing and fun time. For example, the concert was, an, was awesome. Everyone had a blast. Another example, thanks for inviting me to the party. I had a blast. Moving to the next expression, to have a crush on somebody means it's a great feeling and it means that you're attracted to somebody and would like them to be a little more than just your friend and if somebody has a crush on you well it's the same they like you in a more intimate way for example she has the biggest crush on simon now instead of saying having a crush you can also just say crushing on it means the same thing, but it's usually used um, uh, among the younger generation and teenagers. For example, you are so crushing on Samantha. Moving on to the next expression, hooked. So what does this word mean? If you're hooked onto something or just hooked, it means that you're addicted or something, you're addicted to something and you can't get just enough. You, you can be hooked on to chocolate, basketball or a new TV show or something more dangerous like smoking. Well, this is not very cool. For example, I am hooked on to chocolates. How do you like the new sitcom? Loved it. I am hooked already. Moving on to the next expression is epic fail. So epic means something huge and fail you know the meaning already put the two words together and that's what it is a big failure or a complete disaster you would use this noun when something hasn't gone right as expected and it's used to exaggerate the idea of failing or doing something wrong for example what an epic fail for the basketball team they lost the game by 30 points. Another example, my test was an epic fail. I have to redo the classes again. So those were the examples for epic fail. So there you have it. There are, these are few of the most common everyday American slang phrases. And you could hear, among, you could hear this amongst your friend, English speaking friends. However, do be careful where and when you use them. Slang is mainly used around your friends or buddies and people you're familiar with like your family. It would be a shame if you didn't get the job because you use slang talk. Now that would be an epic fail. Thank you so much for watching my channel for this video. Please go 